and uh, Kellum is just the biggest term of the year in the United States. Uh, it's, it's fun to be here. I think the kids love it. A lot of tradition. Um, I remember playing here. Uh, it was a big deal for me as a junior, so it's certainly fun to be back uh, as a coach recruiting these kids, you know, watching the younger kids, rising freshmen, rising sophomores, rising juniors, um, you know, as well as the rising seniors who are you know, getting ready to make their decisions. But you know, Kalamazoo has always been uh, you know, the place to be and uh, where everybody's shooting for as a junior American tennis player. Um, you know, so obviously the level of tennis is extremely high. Um, we're looking to you know, begin the recruiting process with some of the younger kids here that are playing the 16s and to you know, further the recruiting process with some of the kids in the 18s. Uh, kids that are focused on academics, um, that still want to compete at a high level for national championships every year. Um, some that have strong individual goals as well. And game styles, all sorts of guys. I mean, obviously in D3 doubles is much more of a focus for three points, so strong doubles players is definitely a, a valuable asset. I'm looking for athleticism, a lot of drive and fight on the court. Um, obviously, you know, Winning is important, but I'm thinking about a kid who can really develop a couple years in college, and so some of that you know, more raw talent, ball striking, um, live arm, that kind of thing. You know, we're looking for kids that have the uh, the the passion, um, the, the kind of character uh, to go along with their obvious athletic talent um, to be part of that great team culture and to you know help us go win a national championship. We're looking for a certain level player. Um, you know, for the most part, we're trying to recruit players that we think can help us. You know, be competitive in our league, in the Ivy League, which has you know, gotten really, really tough. Uh, you're talking you know, top 25, top 30 level teams in the country to win the league. So, you know, we're looking for players that we think have the level. Um, you know, to to help us compete. Um, you know, along with kids that have the right attitude and you know are into their tennis, want to improve over the next year or two, and then you know over four years in college. Because these are you know, all the best players in the country and, and we're a Division three school, some of the things we're looking for are, are, are probably some of the kids that are a little more under the radar than you know, the real big boys, the Stanfords, the Texas, the Georgias. Um, so, you know, it's 256 draw here and most of the guys in our sweet spot are kids um, you know, maybe losing that first or second round. Um, still amazing players. But, um, you know, have a more of a realistic uh, shot for us to, to talk to them. Um, you know, everybody here is a good tennis player. Uh, some are going to be realistically too good for us. Some are going to use college tennis as a stepping stone to go out and play professional tennis. Um, some are going to use college tennis, uh, you know, to further their potential and to find a balance between great academics and uh, the opportunity to be part of a culture and play college tennis in an environment where they're playing tennis as a team sport for the first time in their lives. Yeah, I mean, you have all the best players in the country. I mean, this is one where, you know, really guys don't skip it. You'll even see some, some guys who have played a year in college that are coming back in the 18s trying to play and earn that wild card at the U.S. Open. So, you know, you see the best of American tennis, um, you yeah, which is fun to watch and uh, certainly a lot of good options for, for kids that are going to be really good college players.